a lot has changed since Keenan died, and I would like to limit the amount of times or even cut them off social media, but it hasn't been easy. Um, a lot of our work things, more than we realize, evolve around, especially Cairo being a uh, presence on social media. Um, so it's not as drastic or as quick as I would like to be, but it's a process that I think about every day. No, it's, uh, you know, the thing is, I think it's fine for you to have an opinion about, like, the stuff yeah. that I do, but to actually curse me out, like, yeah. to swear at me and call me names, call me, call me and say, yeah, Asha definitely smashed. Uh -huh. Yeah, this, like, she's a that is so wrong, guys. Yeah. I'm someone's mom. There's one person who commented and said, yeah, she's too comfortable around Asha. Asha definitely smashed. I wanted to say, yeah, smashed me and your mom. Yeah, exactly. But I can't say things like that because that's just not, you know, yeah, right. But, but, but like, they, I'm no, also someone's then, mom. No, but I know, but then you just become... But they can say about me that Asha smashed me. But if I say also your mom, then it's, it hurts. But then people will come at you and say, no, but you're supposed to set the example. Why must you always be the yeah, example? Yeah, I must be the example, but I must just like, it's so wild because I, I did an experiment where I went to my comments on Instagram and then I only, I, I changed the setting to make it, to allow only people who follow me to comment on my post. Because I had posted a picture of one and I didn't know that I was training. Mm. Now I was there, people saying, yeah, now you're feeling guilty. You still there was even a misguided one who just thought we are attacking her, but I don't know what we were attacking. Said, yeah, Kenan only died seven months ago and you're already out here with other men. What? But what does that have to do with you? <laughs> <laughs> I think they were just like in attack mode. But they were so determined <laughs> that they actually did follow me first to comment on Okay, but they were so, so they even miss, it's like... Uh, Anything, uh, just yeah, attack the girl. Yeah, I, but I told you about the dream, eh? He said, you know, I told you, he said to me, I must just... Take Cairo off social media. But you know, Kenan was never really keen. And Cairo being on social media. being on social media. So every time I think about this dream, I realize how clear that dream was. It was really a visit. It wasn't just a dream. You know, I've dreamed about him a couple of times, but it was always like fuzzy. Mm. But I feel this dream was him so clear. He was really there. And you know, so he said towards the end, he said, um, you know, mom, I, he, he was actually joyful and playful, but that time he got serious and he said, I read you to, you guys to just, you know, limit. He didn't say take it all completely. He said, yeah. you must limit the time that you expose on social media and even in public. Mm. He said, just limit it and just make it less. And then the interesting thing is when I found you the next day, you said, I've been feeling that way. I mean, feeling I was like, like thinking, oh, time. you're gonna think, oh, whatever. Yeah, I mean, even with Asante. Even with Saint, yeah, and especially when Kenan got mm. killed, I just felt like, I mean, I, I, I've always been one to understand, like, and, and accept, like, my fate with the t kind of life that I've chosen for myself, you know. Mm. And, but I think my kids need a break, man. Mm. I think my kids need a break. Like, they, they need to choose for mm. themselves. So when you called me to say you had this dream. And you, you feel keen and said, I it was like, I'm, I'm starting to just figure out how to do that, you know? I mean, I walk with Cairo and like, people will say, oh, sh I, didn't, I didn't know it was you, but I saw Cairo. Mm. Or like Cairo, like people know what she looks like. And I'm not, I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but I'm just like, she needs to be able to choose. It's very difficult to remove the children out of social media because it's just been such a, a normal thing for us. Um, and even with the children being on social media, I never had the fear of anything. I've always just been free around the idea of them being on social media, but a lot has changed since Kenan died, and I would like to limit the amount of times or even cut them off social media, but it hasn't been easy. Um, a lot of our work things, more than we realize, evolve around, especially Cairo being a uh, presence on social media. Um, so it's not as drastic or as quick as I would like to be, but it's a process that I think about every day. But look, it doesn't mean that we should never do anything, but I think as limited, I choose think I'm what you do. I'm actually completely. there. I'm at, you take at the, the child off okay. completely. Yeah. Um, you know, that's why I'm, I mean, that's your... I'm leaving, I, I don't know, leaving the accounts maybe on private, mm. whatever's there is there, but like, I don't know, man. If, yeah, but then you, that's, you know, see, you remember, I Kenan said, I really honestly believe in your gut. Eh? Now mm. I believe. I think mm. Kenan is my gut. Right. <laughs> so I feel like we must go with our gut. If your gut says to you, take the children off completely, and that makes you feel better, and at the end of the day, you the mom. You have the last say of what must happen.